theme of this day of events is how to build a party and how to build a party that really respects and includes women and gives women in this state a chance to not only be at the table but at the head of the table. Yeah. Carrying with them their democratic values and their life experiences. And you're right, I am running to live again at 1600 Pennsylvania <laughs> Avenue. That's just fantastic. All right, folks, joining us now is Brent Fadowski, writer for The Hill, former aide to Senator Lloyd Benson. And Brent, I know one of the things that, uh, that you love about me is you come on and, and you, you think you know exactly what we're going to talk about, and then, <laughs> then we go in a different direction. But, but I w based on that soundbite, I want to get to your piece, Nixon's Ghost Stalks Hillary Clinton. Sure. And this is Hillary related, but it's to, to what she just said. My question to you is, why hasn't the great champion of women uh, done what the media uh, in their biased manner has not done. Bernie Sanders, uh, it was revealed by Mother Jones. Now, I don't know if Hillary, uh, her camp yeah. tipped them off or not. Uh, but uh, it, on Friday, we learned that Bernie Sanders uh, had went once wrote, and it was published, that women, while they're having sex with their partners, fantasize about being gang raped by three different men at the same time. Uh, where's, where's the great champion of women condemning her opponent for these outrageous, outrageous, sexist, perverted, twisted, sick uh, 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 fantasies? Well, my guess is that she believed probably correctly that they, the act speaks for itself, meaning what, um, what good old Bernie said, which was appalling, obviously. Uh, I no, think it's not. But Brent, it's not obvious because the media is not talking about it. Hillary's not talking about it. Nobody's talking about it. But if it were Republican, they'd be out of the race by yesterday. So no, no, obviously is the wrong word. No, you're, you're right about that. But, but the fact is, uh, most of the media tends to like Bernie personally. Uh, I like Bernie personally. I think he's a really good guy. What he said was monumentally stupid, bizarre, weird, and unacceptable. I, I mean, I just said it. You know, I can speak for myself. Um, yeah, and, but are you, you know, writing a piece about it? I mean, have you written a piece at the Hill about it? No, not no, negative. No, of course not. I, Would I, you have written a piece at the Hill if it were, I don't want to name names, but, but if it were Santorum or, or, or Cruz or Rubio or anybody on the Republican side that's announced? Well, I'll tell you the truth, though, if you follow my columns on the Hill. I tend to avoid that kind of even attacks on Republicans for stuff like that. Uh, that is not, generally speaking, my style. I tend to speak to the big issues, and I don't look for the little gotcha stuff. Even when they're deserved, which the Bernie Sanders thing is, uh, I could filibuster about equal Republican things that were done, but I tend to stay away from that myself. No, 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 no. You can filibuster about equal Republican things, but they've all been pointed out. I mean, oh, look yeah. at look at look what happened in 012. No, they look, called I'm, the Republican I'm convention. Gonna, I'm not going to disagree with you. Yeah. All I can do is speak for myself. Right. I just denounced what he said in unequivocal terms. Uh, I think everybody ought to denounce what he said and anybody else who says that kind of thing. Uh, no question about it. And, and then I can speak for myself. As for Hillary, she's, she's got big fish to fry about the things that she's trying to promote for the country. Uh, I think she is trying to avoid the minutia of politics, and she's trying to avoid, uh, you know, the news cycle negativity. Uh, and I don't blame her for that, and I don't blame her for being reluctant to talk to the media for reasons I wrote about in my Nixon's Ghost. Uh, column, I know because uh, poor Hillary, Hillary. because poor Hillary is nothing but a victim. No, I didn't say that. What I did say, though, uh, is is and it's not gender based, by the way. What I what I did say uh, is that is that when uh, Bill Clinton was president, the House Republicans set up a bogus committee under Dan Burton, a congressman then, uh, to investigate and, and and attack Bill Clinton. That didn't work. Then they then they did a bogus impeachment to try to uh, throw him out of office, which bordered on a coup d'état. That didn't work. Uh, they tried the same tactics in the 90s. They're doing the same tactics now with the Benghazi Committee, which was bogus. You had the Government Oversight and Affairs uh, Committee, which was also bogus when they were investing in the Clintons. What got me going on this, by the way, is that I was in the Hillary emails, that they were talking about a piece I wrote criticizing uh, the House Investigation Committee for the uh, what I called uh, the almost McCarthyite attacks on the Clintons back in 2012. Uh, and someone sent it to Hillary, some of her people, and it was in the Hillary emails, right. my, my little piece. But let me ask but, you but this. But that's why I raised these issues. No, well, 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 but committee. let me ask you this. Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton uh, was, was impeached. He, he was disbarred. 
He committed perjury. He paid an $850,000 fine for taking it out against Paula Jones. While he was, he was accused of... He was, he was creating... While he was creating 30 million jobs. Oh, oh, so, so oh, wait a minute. Was, wait, wait a minute. minute. Brett, you're while, beautiful. While he was balancing Brett, the budget. You're beautiful. While he was balancing the budget. Brett, while you're Brett, Brett, wait a minute. We're running out of time. Surplus. You're beautiful. Brett, Brett, happen. Brett, Brett. So you could lie under oath. You could take out your, your, your oh, private look, part. I, you, know, you could I sexually I assault. You American could be accused of rape. But if you balance the budget, it's okay. Man, I'd like to get you under oath discussing what you just accused Bill Clinton of doing, my friend. I, uh, no, I said he was when, accused when those, of it by Kathleen Willey, raised, Paula Jones, and Bill others. Bill Clinton's popularity went up to 66%. Brett, got to go. Come course. back. Brent Fidowski, ladies and gentlemen.